Hello and welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that have shown me Gemini in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter for May 2021. Please have in mind that this is a general reading. So the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is down there below in the description box. Gemini, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your comments, your love, your support, your subscriptions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's see. Gemini. I'm getting a very good feeling when it comes to, to you. Like, it's very like, I don't know, it's a, it's a, it's a happy vibe. <laughs> I'm getting that you, your ships are um, coming in. There's like, this is the, the sense of the nine of cups. Your wish fulfillment finally coming in, okay? You are in your power. You have regained your confidence. You are single, ready to mingle. Gemini. I'm getting that your cup has been refilled. Okay. Two more shuffles for Gemini, please. One. Two. Walking on sunshine. Leaving behind a water sign. Cancer by Scorpio. Heading towards the Two of Cups. Walking on sunshine. There you go. The sun with the Two of Cups. And you are leaving something behind or someone behind. And there's your ships coming in. Oh my goodness. Gemini. The Ace of Cups. The Three of Wands. This is your ships. This is your wish fulfillment. This is your wish fulfillment. This is what is coming in for you. But you did leave something behind or someone behind here to get here, right? Because I also saw the Nine of Swords. Let's see. First card for you is the Strength card, Leo Energy, okay? This is you regaining your strength. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. It's like you have done the work. You went within, you've done the work. You know what works and what does not work. Taurus Energy, the Hierophant. No more lying to yourself. No more ignoring the red flags, no more ignoring the signs. Four of Wands. So where, where have you been putting your energy? Where have you been putting your energy in? To whom? Because you were doing a lot here. But you were not receiving the outcome that you were desiring here. No matter the time, the effort, the energy that you were putting in, there were no results. No, desire, no, no desirable results. Page of Cups. I feel that this is your cup being re refilled by your own energy. Ace of Pentacles. 
seven of cups and finally the ten of cups okay this is your wish fulfillment a relationship that has the potential to grow and become something more when something is not working when something is not moving forward there's a reason why that's why we let it go right we make room we make space for the new to enter and this is exactly what you have done gemini interesting it feels that the person that you were dealing with took you for granted did not expect you to unhook yourself but you did and whatever you are doing keep on doing it because is it's like you are attracting with this new energy of yours you are attracting your heart's desire here which is a committed relationship a stable connection Getting back into your power has triggered this person from the past. I feel strongly that this person is like the ground has, I don't know how to say that in words, lost the ground out down from their feet. You did shake them. Really, really did shake them when you turned your back to them. Because I'm getting, Gemini, that you did fight for this person. You did fight for this connection with no results. This person was not changing. It's like this person did not value you or the connection that they shared with you. I'm getting that you were dealing with someone that was very selfish very much in their ego but you were also boosting their ego while you were boosting their ego they kept you somewhere around there on the on, on the side in a way using you in order to feel that they are someone that there are someone some someone of importance this person has feelings for you gemini I'm just hearing that you are serving them a big lesson, a great lesson. That it could change their whole life. And yours.
but they have to get the lesson, right? They have to understand where, what's the lesson. Sometimes we have to lose someone that is very important to us to, to get it, right? This is very interesting. I want to clarify the Hierophant for Gemini. Ooh, two wanted to come out. We have the Devil with the Page of Pentacles. This is Capricorn energy. This is the lesson. The Page of Pentacles is also a student. A death card. Major transformation is taking place in your life and in their life. There was a major shakeup that has turned their world upside down. Scorpionic energy. This full moon in Scorpio was very strong. We all felt it, right? Yes. <sighs> there is a major shift here. Fast. A fast shift that is bringing things upside down here. And we also have a message with the Page of Swords. <coughs> what is the, the message, please? The Two of Wands. Someone here is about to make a major um, decision when it comes to their uh, life. Five of Cups. I feel that this transformation is taking place in order for things to fall into place. That's what I heard. Five of Cups. This person has a lot of regret of taking you, taking you for granted, not giving you the right amount of attention. This person has very strong feelings, as I said, six of cups. I'm, I'm smelling true love here for some reason. Yes, I am. Mm. I'm also getting that you did show a lot of compassion when it comes to this person. You did forgive them a couple of times. Mm. Could be that you are married also to this person, right, Gemini? I guess I see that. A couple of you are married to this person. Married or not, you gave this person a lot of opportunities, a lot of chances to show you, to prove you. But it feels like they would they, they keep they were keep disappointing you <coughs> with the three of swords the Ace of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. For Gemini. If there was someone else involved, 
Yes, I'm also seeing that. It doesn't have to be another person, but it feels like this, whoever you were dealing with was choosing not to give you, but they were giving to others. And as I said in the beginning, they were choosing to keep you on the side. Like they made you feel that you were not important. You doing all the work and them just taking and giving to others. Giving their energy, their time, their love even, their affection, their understanding, their whatever. They were giving this all this to other people than you. And in many cases, they were treating you as if you were a burden or needy or, yeah. I want to clarify the page of cups, please, for Gemini. The Ace of Wands. And the Six of Wands. This is a very fresh, new energy. What is going on here? Because people are admiring you, Gemini. Okay? It could be that people are following you on social media. You are known, you are loved. Hmm. For Gemini. It's like you have something to show. You have something here that is very valuable and people do value you. You are in people's life important. And it could be that this, because this person was, it could be that your ego was, I don't know how to explain this again. Because as I said, you are admired, you have your, your, your group, you have your fans, you have your people, your friends, your family here. But it was like you were trying to, to get this person, this specific person that was ignoring you. That was, you were trying to get their attention, get their approval, get, I don't know what, 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 why you were doing this. But that was also a lesson for you. No more trying or no more chasing, man. That's it. No more chasing or wanting someone that does not want you. Choose people that choose you. People that do not choose you. You can't force them. But I'm getting that for a lot of you, this was a major lesson. If this resonates. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. That is your energy unless you are dealing with another air sign. This is you finding the strength here. To let go. Let go. You're letting go because you are the empress. Yeah. And as I said, you are admired. People do admire you. People want to get to know you. People want to spend time with you. 
So why keeping yourself stuck in a loop trying to get a specific person's attention or admiration or whatever? And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords here. You know who you are. I feel that this person that you were dealing with was a soulmate that came into your, into your life to teach you exactly that, you know, that, you know, to see, for you to see clearly who you are and what you deserve. One more. The sun. There you go. The sun. One more, please, for Gemini. The Page of Wands. This is a lot of new energy, as I said, fresh energy, passionate. Uh, it's like you are unstuck, unstucking. That's not a word. Wish. Your wish is coming true. Your wish is coming true. Realizing what is what's going on here. Realizing the lesson. Understanding what is going on. And freeing yourself. Because you were stuck quite some time here. Because I'm also hearing, well, can't you see me? Can't you see that I'm an empress? What do I have to do? Well, nothing. Nothing. Because when you're dealing with people that have a clear vision, when, when you are dealing with people that are on your same uh, that are on the same level like you, you ha you don't have to prove to them. You don't have to prove anything to no one. They just know. When you catch yourself trying trying hard to know there's something wrong, not with you, with them that they cannot see your worth and value. And when you know your value, you don't stick around entertaining these connections. So, justice, karmic justice, and the three of wands. As I said earlier, did I say that? That your ships are coming in? And what is coming in is the two of cups. Love is not... You know, true love is not tr tr like struggling to, to, to get the person. No, it's an equal, it's, it's equal. I see you, you see me. <laughs> yeah. And you are receiving the Ten of Cups. Let's, let's um, clarify the Ten of Cups for Gemini. Yeah, I see you, you see me. No mind games, no, I don't know, no confusion, no dilemma, no, no. Ten of Cups with the Four of Cups, the Two of Swords, and, and the King of Wands. One more for the King of Wands. Leo Sagittarius, Aries Energy. Ah, this person now, whoever this is. Actually, this person that you were dealing with, Gemini, has a lot of healing to do with the moon. A lot of things are hidden deep within. They were not fully accepting the, the Ten of Cups that you were offering them. And they were procrastinating on making a decision. Even like, as I said, like getting to know you in a deeper level. They were like refusing that. Maybe because they felt that if they would open up and get to know you better and go deeper, that they will catch up, they will catch feelings for you. And this is something that they did not want. But yeah, what are you going to do? Wait for this person to, 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 to for what? For what? To see the light? You are the light. Gemini, you are the sun. Maybe you were too bright for them. Because they are the moon. They are the moon. Let me see. One more for these two energies, please. The sun and the moon. The ten of wands. Yeah. And the seven of wands. This person was fighting off. They were fighting. Yeah. 
Yeah. When people don't know about love, they know nothing about love, they push it away because it scares them. Okay? It's like, oh, why is that? I don't know what that is. They want it. They want true love. They want to feel the love, but they don't know how to reciprocate. So they end up pushing true love away. Let's see what's your spiritual message from him and I. Don't you ever forget that things unfold the way they should, okay? So for Gemini, thank you. Third eye chakra. And we also have transformation here, Scorpio, Scorpionic energy again. So I journey within to meet my higher self and find true happiness. You see, this is, you have already done that or you are doing that. And they are, it's their turn to do it. If they choose to, you can't, as I said, you cannot force someone to go within to find their happiness. No, they would, they have to want that. So third eye chakra, this is your intuition. Okay. I see the wisdom. I see the wisdom of my higher self and I apply this wisdom in my life. So, yeah. Knowing who you are, what you are capable of, what you are capable of manifesting as an Empress energy for Gemini, please. One, two, and one, three. Good. Let's sing. I'm open and receptive to whatever comes to me that it can overflow into the world. Effectiveness. The guardian angel comes to earth. I see in front of me the gold at the end of the rainbow. My whole being begins to fill with light. Assimil assimilation. This is the wisdom bottle. This is what it's called. And it's the color gold. Mm. My aim is to see life anew with I anew with love. My aim is to see life anew with love. Go with the flow. Mm -hmm. You're going with the flow. You are, like it or not, wanting it or not, you are detaching from this uh, situation here. Yeah, this is what I got for you. If this reading did not resonate, you can also watch your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your Jupiter. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.